And we're going to go to Epcot because this is the coolest thing in the world. And I wish we would have done this um, when it was still around. Um, but I don't know if we did or not. Uh, our dad being a teacher, we totally could have done this in the early 90s. Yes. But there's the Epcot Teacher Center and Outreach Library. Amazing. I mean, right? So, yeah. like, let's let's get into this a little bit. We'll talk about it. And then I, I got to ask you some questions about today and this kind of idea. But so it was open from 83 to 94. That's the whole time that that section of the park was called Communicore before it was Interventions, before it became um, part of whatever world celebration and Moana, the journey of water is coming soon, all that stuff. Um, so it was part of Communicore West and teachers uh, could go there to the teacher center and request materials based on the future world pavilions. So they would have, uh, you know, things about energy, um, world emotion, all that kind of transportation, communication, uh, living seas, you could get stuff about the oceans, the land, all of that really cool stuff. You could get uh, materials for your classroom uh, that you can get there. Um, you could also then go to the outreach library, which from what I understand, I think only teachers could go to the teacher center. But anyone could go to the library and ask questions. But the library mostly had like reference desk answers to questions about Epcot. Like you'd be like, how many panels are on Spaceship oh, okay. Earth? How many steps does it take to get around? Um you know, world showcase and like different things like that. When but, I was reading yeah. about it, um, it did like, there were some comments in there about how they really strictly enforce like teachers only because people wanted to come in and just get like free stuff. And they right. wanted to if... make sure that it just went to the teachers, which I appreciate. <laughs> I do appreciate in, in the land of right now where you go to Disney parks and there's, you know, DVC lounges, club 33s, there's, um, visa card holder experiences mm -hmm. you know what, what what about a teacher uh what yeah. about a fun teacher experience you know so let, let's ask that if you if you could have a special teacher's center in a disney park where do you think today that would be like the best place to put that ah huh. a teacher i mean i would stick in epcot are we talking like throughout the whole yeah disney? i mean anywhere for okay sure. Yeah, no, I mean, I would stick in Epcot. I don't know. Yeah, Epcot does have that really great, right? like, science. Um, even I, I, when I read about it, it seemed like they did a lot with the front, Future World, but not as much with World Showcase that I think could have been done. Now, too. and another interesting, like, place to have it would be, like, Animal Kingdom as yes. well. Yes, yes, for sure. And that's what that's where I was thinking too. I was thinking, of course, like World Showcase could use something um, that would be good for you know different countries, different, especially when mm -hmm. we get um, all the extra booths at one of like Food and Wine right. um, to even incorporate those countries. But yeah, Animal Kingdom too. Um, I know the the last time we went to the parks, we finally got a chance to go out to um, what's the the Rafiki's Planet Watch? I don't think it's called that anymore. Is it still called Rafiki's Planet Watch? Um, but we went out. We went out on the train, the the uh, Wilderness Express train, um, and did the whole like animators experience, and uh, it was really great. Like we hadn't done that before. We knew it was there, and it was one of those things that we always wanted to do. But like you could really fit a teacher center out there too. I know it's yeah. out of the way, but that would be a great location um, to cater to us teachers. <laughs> so Disney, yeah, bring back some teachers centers. Yeah, when you listen to this and <laughs> right? take our if you're advice. <laughs> Disney. Yes. That's how we'll know they're listening. Yeah. If they magically make some teacher centers, <laughs> then we know they're listening. Um, but yeah, no, so I think it I especially with um all of those pavilions and all of the the, the things that, you know, I, I could imagine. Um well, we went to Disney in the early nineties with the teacher, our dad. Um, and he totally could have taken advantage of this. But I don't even know if we knew this was a thing at that time. And maybe, yeah, I don't know how advertised it was. I mean, we were just kids, so. Right. I, I or maybe know. he was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm on vacation. <laughs> it's <No>. summer. <laughs> right. I'm not thinking about going to some teacher yeah. center on my vacation. Which? Um, but no, I, I think it's cool. And I, I agree. I want it back. Um, 
I think that would be something that would be really neat. Yeah, to, I would love to yeah. go there and just like check it out if they still had that. Right. Even if it's just like a cool teacher's lounge to be like, hey, teachers, as Disney, we respect you. Take a break. Yes. <laughs> here's a free Here's a free can of pop. Like, you know, <laughs> like have have have, you know, here's here's a, a bag of chips. Have fun. Yeah. Um, anything is anything's good. Um, so, no, that would be that's that's uh, that's really cool. And, and that's something that I'm I'm glad it existed. I'll say that much. I'm glad it did exist because that's that's really neat. Um, and Disney at one point was recognizing teachers that way. So you said it was 83 to 94. Yeah. So that was in that Eisner Wells era. Right. So it came on board just before Eisner. And then it, okay. and then it so basically when uh, in 94, Epcot gets kind of a big um, refurbishment, like a big change. Uh, they changed the name to Epcot 94 to make it sound like it's a... Um, uh, like a World's Fair or something, yeah. and then they changed it to Epcot 95, and they did that for a little while. Um, but that's when Communicore changes to Interventions, and they bring in more corporate sponsors. So then, of course, the corporate sponsors are what kind of push out the, the free teacher center. <laughs> <laughs> right? Corporate spot. We can make more money off these sponsors yeah, than well, these teachers. It's true. But- If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you really like this video, visit SynergyLovesCompany.com for the full audio podcast.